hi guys welcome back so today i want to talk about the natasha denona's glam face palette i tried to film yesterday but the sun went down really quickly so the lighting became an issue um the sun is almost about to go down now as well so i need to rush this process um i'm going to tell you guys a little bit about um these two palettes yes i decided to pick up both light and dark today i am reviewing the light version i will do the dark one next but i played with it yesterday so as you can see um my hand prints are all over this this is like a mirrored packaging but the back looks the same and it has i guess a little sticker that tells you that this is the light um yeah light glam face palette and it comes with five eyeshadows and one cream blush and one i believe powder highlighter and they're not eye safe um according to other reviews that i have watched yeah i should have read the <laughs> outer box but you know i've been forewarned so i'm gonna read you guys the little description um from natasha donona's website about the glam face palettes so this is supposed to be a debut in a brand new size of uh, natasha donona's palettes the do it all glam face palette includes both eye and cheek essentials and universal neutral tones that's what ultimately attracted me into getting both palettes because i am a neutral lover and um, with five ultra pigmented eyeshadows in natasha denona's iconic buttery smooth formulas and two highlighting shades featuring a brand new formula that uses japanese technology to deliver an extreme glow and i have to completely agree with that i've used it yesterday and i was shook i was shook by this highlighter this palette is perfect for traveling and i'm about to um go to new york or go back to new york for the holidays i currently live in los angeles right now yeah i'm a new yorker so um yeah i'm going back to visit my family and i'm definitely bringing this with me this palette is perfect for traveling and for creating everyday looks on the go designed with a luxurious never before seen nd uh, exclusive packaging it comes in two different tones with lighter or darker shades to complement all skin tones and you know it tells you all the benefits and blah 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 so let's go in with the description of the shades within this palette i'm going to quickly just swatch it for you guys um, i'm sure if you are obsessed with makeup you've already seen this palette a hundred thousand times so i apologize for repeating it and i am late in everything so anyway so this one is in a corner this is described as a sparkling metallic universal light nude just watch it sorry about the lighting feels a little bit gritty but it's so smooth and really pigmented transition this is a matte light medium nude pink I can definitely see the um, pink in this matte shade. And then the third one we have a crease shade. This is described as matte medium nude. buttery and super pigmented all these shades and we have an outer corner this is a sparkling metallic medium rose gold nude now personally i wouldn't buy any shimmers on my outer corners but look at that a 
that's just one swipe wow gorgeous color and then this last shade is called smoke and it's described as matte dark neutral brown and that's super pretty so here it is up close these two shimmery shades are pretty similar on the eyes but when you swatch them you can see that this one have a tint of brown undertones all right so let's move on to the cream blush and highlight so this is the cream blush and it's described as a matte neutral pink doesn't feel very creamy it feels sort of powdery almost it's just an interesting texture and I feel like with these cream blushes you can build up the color or sheer it out and then for the highlight this is called star glow and it's uh, described as high shine light champagne it's super smooth it feels super soft beautiful light champagne shape. So that's basically all of the swatches for the light um, glam face palette. I finished one eye already and I'm gonna replicate this look onto my left eye and I will go over all the steps with you guys. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer. So for the base I used um, Sigma's eyeshadow base primer in shade Ignite and it comes in like these pencil like chubby pencil format and I think that this help you know the longevity of your eyeshadow you can either use a brush but I tend to use my finger just to help blend out the base so for the first shade I'm going in with transition this um, a pinky brown shade with my Refer 27 brush. It's a nice fluffy blending brush. You kind of want to just take your time blending and building this color up. But of course the brush helps. Next, I'm going in with the color next to it. This is the crease color with my rougher number one. Um, this is another crease brush. Just placing that right near my like, crease and brow bow area. Not really taking this color up, but just a tad bit. These brushes are just so, so soft and easy to work with. Next, we're moving on to the lid shade. I'm using the outer crease color. Just taking my um, Refers 02, like a flat um, shader brush. So you definitely kind of do get some fallout with this um, shade. Gorgeous, gorgeous color and then I'm picking up my Ruffers 28 brush I'm picking up the inner corner shade and then the final shade that I'm using for my lower lash line is this shade called smoke with my rougher 03 like a pencil brush I'm going in with the Sonia G's um, mini booster 
brush to kind of blend my bottom lash line. So that's basically the final look. I'm going to be topping it off with my Too Faced um, Better Than Sex a Waterproof Mascara. That's it for the eyes. So I'm really not into like cream blushes in general, but I've been trying out a lot of the cream products like the Patrick Taz, you know, cream bronzers and Selena Gomez's um, like the little blushes that she came out with which is also cream which i absolutely love so i'm using the um the new brush that i got during the sephora's vib sale their holiday sale i got 20 percent off because i'm a rouge, rouge rouge member thanks to my family um but this is the sephora's i think pro blush brush and i used it yesterday i just wanted to show you guys that this is new i am of course gonna throw away this box at some point but this is such a soft brush it's like tapered out and really fluffy and pointy at the same time um it feels really really nice the handle so I'm going to pick up the cream blush, kind of just picking up a lot of it. I like the color of this cream blush, it just gives you a nice, you know, healthy flush of color. And to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not a blush lover. I prefer bronzers and highlighters more than blushers. Because, you know, I, I'm a very shy person and I feel like when I put on a blush, you know, it's like my shyness is kind of like seeping through. Okay, anyways, um, let's put this on the other side of my cheeks. By the way, I just washed my hair, so um, please excuse the messy look. And my camera battery is about to die. Great. Time for the fun part, the highlighter. It's crazy. It's crazy intense because I, I'm using light handed, like very, very light hand to like tap the product. And look how much payoff that this highlight is given. It's like So this is my final outcome, it is in the Glam Face Palette, the light version. I just need to put some lipstick on. I'm going to be using um, NARS to lot, this like terracotta shade. I believe I got this for free um, last year birthday's gift from Sephora. I want to make it a little bit more neutrals so I'm going to use I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona, the queen herself. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. My overall thoughts on the Light Glam Face Palette is definitely a highly rated one for me. I absolutely love the fact that I don't have to think much when it comes to using this palette. It is just so effortless. The colors blend together so smoothly. Um, granted, there are some fallout for the shimmers, but that's expected. Um, I think the shimmery shades are definitely not for like an everyday wear. 
uh, wearable shades by any means at all but you know I don't mind rocking shimmery glitter shades like for my daily wear I just don't mind it I don't care if you know people stare at my eye look or whatever I just don't care you know you do you so I do like that you get a little bit of that oomph you know for these glittery shades I much prefer it i think that this really speaks to me um, in terms of her tones and yeah i have nothing negative to say about it i love the cream blush formula as well it just goes on so smoothly usually when i wear blushes i feel like there's some patchiness because i do have dry cheeks and this is not picking up on any of my dry <laughs> flakes on my cheeks so i'm just shook by this whole palette and highlighter oh my gosh it's just giving me this like wet healthy glowy vibe and by the way i do have the natasha donna's glam palette the original glam palette and uh, let me just show you guys the difference this is a lot warmer and toned and this is a lot cooler so there's no overlapping of any shades within these two palettes and i haven't really played with the bronze palette either but just to show you guys the difference i think there might be some similar shades with the brown tones really this is a lot warmer um yeah i don't know i think some of the shades might overlap but i haven't used this one i'm just waiting enough for summer to come back again so i can use these tones but yeah i'm i should be doing a review on this soon okay anyways i'm getting sidetracked but i will highly recommend this palette this is by far a stunning a stunning face palette and i usually don't like you know cheeks with eye um eyeshadows all in one i like individual products but it's just this was probably just overly hyped too but i'm not disappointed at all i did try out the dark version already so i know how this looks on me but yeah stay tuned for this one but i hope you guys enjoy my review on the uh light glam palette the only other negative thing I want to say about this palette is the palette itself, the mirrored packaging. I really don't like how um, it attracts, you know, handprints and it's just, I like to keep my makeup clean as much as possible. If, if you guys have seen my eyeshadow palettes collection, I like to keep all of my stuff clean. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this a very neutral boring look. I hope you guys enjoy my sit down kind of like you know chillaxing talking type of girlfriend vibes thing anyways i gotta go i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye